गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऋषिकुल ऑनलाइन स्कूल लेट्स कंटिन्यू चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ जोग्राफी दैट इज आर चेंजिंग अर्थ डी एस स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शेल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स फॉर्म्ड बाय द वर्क ऑफ आर रिवर these landforms are formed by two type of processes first one is weathering and second one is erosion so let's talk about weathering weathering is the breaking up of the rocks on the earth surface next is erosion erosion is the removal of solids in the natural environment it usually occurs due to transport by wind water and ice dear students this process of erosion and deposition create different landforms on the surface of the earth let's talk about the work of a river dear students a river forms different type of features on the earth such as waterfall meanders oxbow lake flood plain levees delta etc let's talk about waterfall A waterfall is a place where flowing water rapidly drops in elevation as it flows over a steep region or a cliff. Next is meanders. The river enters the plain, it twists and turns forming large bends known as meanders. Dear students, due to continuous erosion and deposition along the sides of the meander the ends of the meander loop come closer and closer in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river and forms a cut off lake that is also called an oxbow lake next is flood plains when river overflows its banks it leads to the flooding of the neighboring areas as it floods it deposits layers of fine soil and other material called sediments along its banks this lead to the formation of flood plain next is levees the raised banks are called levees dear students as the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams which are called distributaries next is delta a delta is a landform that is created at the mouth of a river where that river flows into an ocean sea estuary lake flat arid area or another river dear students deltas are formed from the deposition of the sediment carried by the river as the flows leaves the mouth of the river so dear students that was all about this module we shall continue this chapter in next module thank you